Hi, I'm Bob from Wild West Guns and Ammo. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a quick video featuring this, which is one of my personal guns. This is a CZ Scorpion Evo 3 S1. This is a 9mm pistol. Of course, this is a brace and it has a short barrel. That makes this a pistol in the eyes of the ATF. Uh, and we're going to be doing a quick breakdown comparing this gun to the new and improved version, which I have right here. This is the CZ Scorpion 3 Plus. Uh, this is also a 9mm pistol, uh, and there have been some nice upgrades going from the old model to the new model, so I'm going to kind of talk through some of those. Uh, this particular gun is a special order that I placed for a customer. He's going to be picking it up this afternoon. Um, one of the most obvious differences, the old model has a brace on it, the new model doesn't. Uh, we just ordered it in this particular configuration. I believe that the customer already has a brace ordered that he'll be putting on here shortly once he picks it up. Um, so just giving you a quick rundown of the older model. Again, this is my personal gun. I have made a few changes to this from the stock configuration. Um, just off the top of my head, this is an aftermarket grip. The original factory grips that came on this gun uh, was just not very comfortable. Um, that was a complaint a lot of people had online. Um, the trigger, I upgraded some of the springs in here as well. Um, got those parts from HB Industries. They have a lot of great aftermarket parts for your Scorpion. Uh, the trigger, the original factory trigger is just kind of mushy. Uh, this is a big upgrade. I've got a Vortex Spark AR red dot on top. Um, I've got a little weapon mounted light. And I do have an Omega 9K silencer on here as well. Obviously that's a whole other ball game. Uh, but overall, this has been one of my favorite guns. Um, I've shot many thousands of rounds through this gun. It's been extremely reliable. I don't think I've ever had any sort of malfunction in this. Um, it's just a very versatile, lightweight, compact package. Uh, I trust this gun immensely, um, but after seeing the new model, there's definitely some nice upgrades on there. So we're gonna kind of talk through some of those. One of the most noticeable upgrades on the new model is they've gone to an AR style uh, magazine release. Compared to the old one, my magazine re release is right here, which works fine, um, but it is something that you don't see a whole lot on current guns. Anyone who's practiced with an AR is very familiar with this, and this should be a very seamless transition right there. On the new model, it's also, everything is completely ambidextrous. Your mag release here if you're left-handed, your bolt release was also another significant change. The new bolt release is right here, kind of in the location that the old magazine release used to be. My bolt release is right here, and honestly it is kind of a little awkward. Um, it's not quite as pleasant as an AR bolt release where you can just slap it. Um, so I think that that's a nice upgrade on the newer version as well. I know that your charging handle on the new model is ambidextrous. You can swap that over to the right side if you prefer. Of course, these guns do have the, the famous HK slap. When you want to charge around, just slap it. You get that awesome noise. Puts a little hair on your chest. These guns have CZ branded metal iron sights. Uh, I think these are really great sights. A, a lot of guns nowadays come with really chintzy cheap Chinese sights from the factory. That's not the case on these CZs. Even, even mine, being the older model, still had pretty decent sights on it. Uh, I like these a lot. One of the biggest differences to me is the grip. I complained that I had to upgrade the grip on my older version. They made a lot of improvements on this. This just feels much better. Uh, there's some nice texturing on the sides. Um, just, just a more pleasant experience all around. I think once the customer gets a brace on this, this will be a really great weapon. So anyway, I think that's going to wrap it up, but I just want to kind of feature this. I, I think that both of these guns are, they're just really fun guns. They're very practical, um, whether it be home defense, planking out at the range. Um, I would definitely recommend if you have not checked one of these out, do so because they're great guns. Thank you for watching.